Instagram users are fighting back after uh, some privacy changes were made on the uh, social networking site. Uh, basically, what they're going to do is allow private businesses to use some of the photos that are posted on Instagram for their own advertisements. So according to the new changes, a business or any other entity may pay Instagram for the use of user images and may do so without any compensation to you. So if you put your picture up on Instagram, basically if you put your picture on the internet, then uh, McDonald's can use it if they feel like it. Definitely, yes. It's ridiculous. So Will Wheaton actually brought up a very, very good point. Um, he's not an Instagram user himself, but he he noticed that there might be some problems with this who, in the future. Who brought this up? Will Wheaton. The actor? Yeah. No. Which is kind of amazing. Like yeah. You don't usually hear about him in these little, kinds of stories. A little random, but God bless. He says, if someone Instagrams a photo of Seth Green walking through an Urban Outfitters, does that mean Urban Outfitters can take that image and use it to create an implied endorsement by Seth? What if the picture is taken by a complete stranger? Who gets final say in how the image is used? The subject, the photographer, or Instagram? Yeah, look, if you want to run advertising, then take your own pictures and pay for your advertising. That's how it works. But it's, it brings up a really interesting question, and it's something that has to do with Facebook as well. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, these are all free services, um, and we don't have to pay for them at all. But you know, it's a great way to stay connected with people. It's a great way to promote a business, whatever it is. But at the same time, these companies need to make money as well. And oftentimes what they do is they use our private information, or they sell our private information in order to make their profit. Um, so. I, I like that we're fighting back, and I don't think that Instagram should be, be doing this, but also there is a price to pl pay when you're putting stuff on the internet. That information will be yeah. used it's so these companies make a profit. It's a totally fair point, yeah. Yeah, so but do you, what social networking do you use? I use uh, Twitter, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it? You yeah. don't use Facebook or anything? I've not ever had a Facebook page. There is a, I hate Ben Mankiewicz Facebook page. Is there? <laughs> yeah, and you know where it was started? It was started by um, a bunch of kids at East Brunswick High School. No it, way! Isn't that totally random? Like 17 year old kids got together at Jenks frickin' High School uh -huh. uh, and started an I Hate Ben Mankiewicz page. Now, it has, last time, I haven't checked it about a year and a half, and there hadn't been an activity in over a year. And they're like, they were like classic movie fans, and they're like, I hate this guy screwing up TCM. But and then there's and then somebody has a Ben Mankiewicz page that started that has like a hundred followers or something that has a totally cheesy picture of me, but I I didn't, I didn't have anything to do with it. Uh huh. That's kind of amazing. Yeah. Well, what always amazes me is the fact that someone can hate a public figure enough to like take time out of their day to create a hate page. It's a, I actually find it flattering. You should be flattered by that. I was not flattered. <laughs> no, honest, was no not, but, but it means that flattered. they think about you enough to actually make a page about you. Like, it's kind of obsessive. Yeah, I, I, no, it's obsessive. And, and then, I, I mean, in a sense, like once I got used to it, like it bummed me out at first, of course. Because mm -hmm. like it was like a, uh, one of my uh, dad's wife's grandkids was like showing me how to use Facebook. And I was like, help us playing around, scooping around. She's a kid, she was like 12 or 13 or something. And, uh, and then she was like, oh my God, there's a hate Ben Mankiewicz page. And then of course I was like obsessed and crestfallen, mm -hmm. you know, because she's like, <laughs> It was the funniest thing you've ever seen. And then I'm like reading into these kids. I'm trying to track down who these wiseacres are. Um, and then it turned out they went to Jenks High School. That's like, amazing. It just seemed so, and they had no clue at all. There was nothing, it was just random. I don't know, weird. But then, like when I looked a year later and they'd like lost interest, then you're right. Then I was like, hey, what gives? Don't you hate me anymore? <laughs>